You want to talk about leadership. You want to talk about ring brilliance. You got to hand it to the Boston bad boy, Tony Rumble. He has outsmarted every single stinking attorney and commissioner that's involved with the National Wrestling Alliance. That's right. Somewhere in his devious, dark, beady little mind, he came up with this idea that any member of the Brotherhood can defend the NWA Tag Team Champions of the Championship of the World. You follow it, Ambo? I got you. Thanks. Okay. Keep going. Let me go back to the details then. Here's what happens. In the last 17 days, you have seen three different combinations of the Brotherhood become the NWA Tag Team Champions of the World. Now, you'll recall, initially, it was Mr. Intensity, Eric Sprazier, and Knuckles Nelson. They defended those belts all over the world, including Japan. Then, a couple of weeks ago, they had to head down to Dallas, Texas. But Tony Rumble had that, that, that criminal mind working. He said, no, I'm going to customize this. He pulled out of <clears throat> somewhere in the dark recesses of his brain WCW superstar Rick Fuller teamed him up. He's a member of the Brotherhood, remember? Teamed him up with Knuckles Nelson. The last time we saw Rick Fuller, he was teaming with... Remember who? Huh? No, I don't. Of course not. Refresh my memory. I certainly will. Baldo, who is now WWF's Prince Albert. Well, make a long story short, because... Oh, maybe I should. I'll just continue telling the story. Knuckles Nelson and Rick Fuller go to Dallas, Texas. They are, well, I'll let you see whether they're victorious or not, because we're going to see footage from NWA Southwest. Understood? Good. Now, let me explain to you. Then, the NWA World Tag Team Championship changes hands for the first time ever in Massachusetts. Stowe, Massachusetts, the public enemy defeats Knuckles Nelson and Rick Fuller. But will they be undone? Absolutely not. Rumble pulls another ingenious plan out of somewhere. You know what happens? Duke Dalton, a yet another member of the Brotherhood, teams up with Knuckles Nelson and then defeats Public Enemy just a couple of days later right in the city of Boston. The first time ever that that has ever happened. The bottom line is, in the last 17 days, three different combinations of the Brotherhood have become the NWA Tag Team Champions of the World. It is incredible. It's unprecedented. The man is almost as bright as I am. Some history definitely being made in the NWA, New England, and NWA I just across the country. Said that, Thanks, bro. I'm just I'm trying to make you look a little better than you already do, which is hard to do sometimes. I take that as a compliment, I suppose. Shall we take a look at this exciting action? Patrick J. Doyle has put together an ensemble that's recapping the history, the recent history of the NWA title. Let's take a look. I am not the biggest member of the Brotherhood. I just have to be the baddest member of the Brotherhood. And I want to introduce right now... Well, at the moment, Rick Fuller has Team Extreme member Kit Carson in all this kinds of trouble, and Tony Rumble is going to work on Kit Carson, while referee Rick Manning has been distracted by Rick Fuller. Not good news for Team Extreme with Tony Rumble at ringside. Well, Carson's got a lot of fight on him. It's going to take quite a bit for Nelson to get the one, two, three on him. Oh, big, big kick. boot to the chest of Kit Carson by Knuckles Nelson. There's that martial arts background coming into play. You're right, you're right, Dr. Goldberg. There it is. Tag Knuckles to Fuller. Now tags with uh, Rick Fuller. This is not good news. Uh -oh. And a big boot from Rick Fuller to the knee of Kit Carson. The Brotherhood has uh, focused particularly on that leg of Kit Carson up to this point. You've got to worry about its uh, durability at this point. Meanwhile, Chris Germany with the upper hand in the ring on Knuckles Nelson. Hurricane Rana. Team Extreme going to double team Knuckles Nelson. Kit Carson flying Carson off the, the top rope, pinning him. No referee. This is he, what I told you. He's got him pinned, but referee Rick Manning cannot see. Uh-oh. Here comes referee Phil Brown entering. Two. Oh. Wow. And Kit Carson has just pinned Knuckles Nelson in the center of the ring. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners and... disqualification. Therefore, the winners and still tag champions, Tony Burger, Rick Fuller, Here
Chris Voss and Bad Boy Tony Rumble's newest tag team combination of the Brotherhood, Knuckles Nelson and Rick Fuller. As they prepare to do battle with Public Enemy, with Bull Montana, here in Stowe, Massachusetts. The action spill on the floor as they rearrange furniture. Oh my goodness, the boot to the face of Tony Rumble, he outsmarted himself. Rolls him up, one, two, three, we got new champion. However, two nights later in Dorchester, Massachusetts, Tony Rumble will yet again bring us another combination of the Brotherhood. Duke Dalton and Marcos Nelson as they square off with the new tag team champions, Public Enemy, Rick Bull Montana. Fans here in Dorchester are looking forward to the tag team championship match. Rocco Rock for Knuckles Nelson, hook the ankle, using his head. Oh, wow, loaded pass by Johnny Grunge. This action was all over the place on this given night in Dorchester, Massachusetts. The reverse tag breaker by Johnny Grunge, but there, Tony Rumble outsmarted himself yet again, nearly Knuckles Nelson with the helmet. Johnny Grunge wants to pound the living daylights out of Tony Rumble. But Knuckles Nelson had ideas of his own after he knocked him out with the helmet. Johnny Grunge is out. He rolls him up. One, two, three, and we got new tag team champs. It's all the same, only the names will change. 